mid 70s we had our first legitimate blockbuster in the movie Jaws. Now Jaws spawned countless other creature on the loose movies both with aquatic horrors like other shark movies for example The Last Shark and also non-shark aquatic horrors such as Orca and Piranha. And then we even had animal on the loose movies on the land things like Grizzly. Now one such movie that we're trying to ride the coattails of the kind of the Jaws phenomena was Barracuda. This is a 1978 movie, uh, obviously another kind of uh, dangerous kind of animal on the loose movie, or is it? This one is co-directed by uh, Wayne Crawford, who also co-wrote the movie and actually stars in it as well. Now, the point of difference with Barracuda compared to, I would say, the majority of these kind of animal on the loose movies is that, strictly speaking, that isn't actually the main focus of the film. This is actually more of a kind of conspiracy thriller film with uh, an, a few animal attack scenes in there, despite it being marketed as a kind of creature on the loose movie. Again, obviously, to ride the, the crest that was the kind of the Jaws phenomena at that point. So what's the story? Well, it takes place on a small coastal American town where there seems to be a, uh, a, a kind of rash of unexplained deaths in the water, uh, people going missing. And, you know, some people attribute it to people drowning and things like that and kind of get eaten after the fact. However, in reality, there is a, uh, a kind of school of deadly barracuda that seems to be overly aggressive and attacking and eating anything that goes in the water, including humans. However, things are actually a little bit more murky than that, as there seems to be the overreaching plot, which is actually about a shady kind of government experiment where they are doing some type of uh, uh, illegal experiments on, on the local populace to kind of make them kind of more aggressive. It's up to a local marine biologist and... Uh, kind of a police chief to try and find out what's going on. Will they succeed? You'll have to watch the movie to find out. So let's discuss. So again, just to reiterate, if you are expecting a full-on creature feature uh, movie, then this is not the film for you. In actual fact, around the halfway mark, we don't see the Barracudas again. We get a few attacks in that first half of the movie, and then it really does switch gears into more of a, a kind of a, uh, a thriller film with... Uh, human adversaries and things like that so and we don't see the barracuda ag again and from that last kind of half of the movie uh but what can we say that works in this film it's certainly a different approach giving you a kind of mix of genres because we do get a kind of two or three reasonable kind of barracuda attack scenes and i have to say i thought the actual effects work of the barracudas wasn't bad it's easy to kind of poke holes at but this is a 1978 movie and you know it's not a particularly high budget one but i gotta say i didn't i didn't think the uh the actual effects were too bad at all and i, and I have to say it's reasonably bloody for the time and obviously if you're wanting uh you know a little bit of a kind of a creature feature with a bit more going on this one will subvert your expectations i know that's kind of a dirty phrase these days but nonetheless that is true so it will take you on a a journey maybe which you're not expecting which is maybe a positive and a negative depending on what you actually are wanting from this movie because if you do want just a creature feature then i think you may be disappointed I have to say, uh, Crawford, who is our lead kind of character, this marine biologist called Mike, does make quite a likeable lead. And is, you know, is quite smart, but also kind of fallible. And I like the relationship between him, the kind of the police chief and the police chief's daughter, all who are kind of our, really our three kind of main protagonists. And I thought they had a kind of a great kind of camaraderie. Now, obviously, if you're comparing this movie to the likes of George, which is a masterclass in you know, character work. It doesn't touch those type of levels, but nonetheless, I still did enjoy the kind of the, the camaraderie between our, our three kind of leads there. Um, I think this movie does become somewhat kind of quite dark in places, especially as the kind of the film progresses and, uh, you know, we learn the truth about what's going on. And let me tell you, I mean, there's the, there's the cliche about the kind of this, how 70s films tend to end and, uh, you know, they, they tend to be somewhat kind of on the the darker scale and that is true of this movie and I, kind of did, did, I did quite appreciate it, I have to say, for that. Um, 
I actually think this film is still quite relatively well paced and fairly well acted for the most part with the most, mo I think most characters doing a reasonable job here. Or most actors I should say. What doesn't work, again, we have to just sort of say if you are expecting just a monster movie, a creature feature, animal attack movie, this really is going to kind of shortchange you, I think. And to be honest, once we get past that kind of those animal attacks, it does feel somewhat kind of vanilla type of, uh, you know, crime drama, to be honest with you, really without any, any real kind of distinguishing uh, flourishes to kind of make it kind of stand out from the crowd. It really does feel quite kind of B-level, I have to say. Uh, obviously, uh, coming off the back of Jaws, it certainly wasn't going to be, uh, you know, uh, as big a hit as that or anything like that. But it, it does certainly feel um, somewhat kind of schlocky. Now, I, I did like the, the animal attack effects. However, I don't think they shot particularly well. Effects-wise, the kind of the, what they've used to kind of, you know, have the kind of these fish attack, you know, humans and stuff, I do think works. However, the movie is quite poorly shot, especially in those kind of under, underwater sequences. There's some horrendous editing here uh, and kind of use of kind of close-ups to try and kind of hide the, the effects and things like that. Which, to be honest with you, I didn't think the effects were too bad, but there's no real sense of tension. Now, if, and, and if you would compare this to George, which is obviously was an inspiration for it, think about how those, those scenes of tensions were kind of built up and... You know, you know the shark is there at some point. Uh, again, that is a masterclass of building tension. This movie does not have that. You, you just kind of, all of a sudden, the, the barracuda will be there uh, without really kind of building up much tension. And, and we know they're in the water because the movie is called Barracuda. But, uh, you know, in the actual scenes that, that have them, I feel it's a real kind of missed opportunity to, uh, to build up any genuine kind of fear factor as well. And also, again, just the, kind of the cinematography with the lighting and stuff like that just doesn't really kind of, it just doesn't really compare to a, a kind of like a higher kind of calibre movie like kind of George. It really does feel kind of quite schlocky. And then we have some, some of the kind of the, uh, the, the minor characters, the supporting players. They're a little bit of a mixed bag in regards to acting and um, the characters do seem a little bit kind of, uh, cliche and kind of cartoonish even at times and then the ending as I've said I kind of uh, kind of enjoyed the kind of the dark note that this movie ended on but at the same time um, it's a little bit kind of uh, harder to believe to a certain degree overall I think this is a watchable film certainly if you kind of are aware that it's not going to be a full-on kind of creature feature which does, does give it a little bit more plot, say, than your average kind of animal attack movie. But again, it could be uh, a positive or a negative, depending on what your expectations are. But I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.